Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Hobby Hussy. Today I'm going to show you how to do some resin feathers. I also thought that I would throw in this little goldfish mold as well. First I uh, paint inside the mold with some Pearl X powders and this is a copper color or bronze color I forgot which I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description but you paint inside the mold with this Pearl X powder and you uh, rub it really good and I did some yellow also on the outside fins kind of at the end of the fins to make them a little more realistic looking and this is a tiny little goldfish. I think he's a charm. Then I take some of the yellow and I paint on the tips of all four feathers. And you can paint these feathers any color that you want with the Pearl X powders. These are just the colors that I chose. And I will list the colors in the description of this video. I know this one is a pearl white, and I think white on a feather is really pretty, so I painted one entire edge of each feather with just a little bit of the pearl white. And I sped this part up because I'm just painting the feather with the Pearl X powder. And you can do this any way you like. I kind of like to match the sides of the feather. You don't really have to if you don't want to. But I'm just, I just keep on painting with the Pearl X powders. And I dry my brush off just to wipe the dust off between each color, just so my colors don't get contaminated with another color and I really like this true blue in a feather as well it kind of looks like a peacock and I use this dark color to go down the vein of the feather and go all the way up into the, the very tip. Now I'm mixing my Amazing Cast Clear Resin and I mix equal sides of A and B and I put them all in the same cup and then I put in um, some darker bronze powder and mix that up but all together I think I mix it like three minutes so I sped this up as well now the goldfish was a little tricky to get the resin in there because it's so tiny so I just put some resin on the tip of my popsicle stick and dripped it off into there and I'm like spreading the mold apart to let the resin get down into each of the fins and you can kind of you know tilt the mold back and forth and then go ahead and fill it up with some resin on the very tip and um, spread it out kind of bend the mold to make sure that resin gets all in all the areas of the mold inside and then I pour a little bit of resin into each feather and don't overfill the mold but fill it to the tip top of each feather and that's a little harder to do than to say And if you get too much in, just wipe it off with the popsicle stick. And I made too much resin, so I poured it into a little star mold. Not sure what I'm going to do with the star mold. But my intent to, 
with the feathers and the goldfish is to put them in a clear coaster, a resin coaster. I think that looks really neat when it's all done. And now it's, it's not done, but it's like three hours later. And the star looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and keep it, do something with it. And now the goldfish to pop him out, just kind of stretch the mold around him and pull him out. And then I take a knife and I kind of trim, carve off the little edgings. And this was supposed to be a charm. So he had this little ring on his nose. So I cut that off because I'm not going to use him for a charm. I'm going to put him in some resin in a coaster or a trivet or a picture or something. So just trim all around him, carve. And be careful not to cut yourself. And now I am popping out the feathers and I'm trimming the little edges off too. They call this flash, the little edges that really aren't supposed to be there. And since the resin is not fully cured, I can still bend it. So I go ahead and bend it into um, shapes to kind of make the, the cast look a little more realistic instead of just a flat feather. And that'll help in my resin coaster to make it look a, just a little fancier. But trim off all the flash. And then twist it or bend it or whatever you want to do with it to make it look more um, natural or realistic. Um, these turned out really good. I'm loving the colors of these. And they are going to look awesome in my resin coasters. And you can, you can fold it in half if you want to. And something that I didn't do here, you could probably cut into the feather to make it look like, you know, it's split apart a little bit if you wanted to. But place them how you want them to cure completely. And you can put more weight on them to hold them in the, in the shape that you want. because they do try to straighten back up on you. And you can, you can see it happening here in this video, how they try to straighten back up. But get them how you want, and then let them cure for the rest of the time. They need to cure for about 24 hours before you do anything else with them. And this is what they look like when they are all finished. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.